Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, colleagues, dear members of the graduating class, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's wonderful to be with you, and I'm very proud to stand with you at the mid-year commencement ceremony of the American University in Cairo. We have much to celebrate here today and many people to honor, not least our graduates, and we'll get to you in a minute. In due time, we'll introduce everyone to you, but I'd like to begin with our colleagues here on the stage, without whom none of us would be here this evening. These are the people who, who work, often behind the scenes, to make this university the truly extraordinary place that it is. These are the people who lead many, many more that you don't see here, actually several thousand, to make this a safe, secure, inviting, challenging, and nurturing place to live, to work, to teach and to learn. So I'd like to begin by recognizing the university's leadership and faculty who are present with us today. I'll ask each to stand and be recognized. If I may, let me ask you to hold your applause until I have the uh, group all together, and then we can uh, celebrate all together. Let me begin by uh, announcing Mr. Atef El Tuhi, our chairman of the Board of Trustees, who's visiting with his wife from California. Mr. Muataz Al Alfi, who is a member of the Board of Trustees. Uh, Mr. Sh Dr. Sharif Sidki, our Provost, Anwar Salama, our University Counselor, and Mohammed Abu Zaid, our Chair of the University Senate. Gentlemen, if you'll please stand. Thank you. And I Gentlemen, I join all present in thanking each of you. I'd like to take this opportunity, though, to make one special note. Uh, our provost, uh, Dr. Sedki, is in his last official act with AUC, at least until we bring him back in a couple of years. He served this great university in several capacities over many years, uh, most recently as our provost. As of tomorrow, he will start as the leader of Zawil City, the interim executive president. And I particularly want to thank the provost for all his service to our great university. I'd now like to recognize our deans who play particularly important leadership roles under the provost in guiding our academic programs and supervising our services to our students. So once again, let me read the names of all the deans and uh, ask you to hold your applause till the end. First. Uh, Dean Robert Switzer, Undergraduate Studies and Academy of Liberal Arts. Dean Nabil Fahmi, Global Affairs and Public Policy. Dean Nathaniel Bodic, Humanities and Social Sciences. Dean Ted Purinton, Graduate School of Education. Dean Hassan Al Fawel, Sciences and Engineering. Dean Nizar Besheikh of Business. And Dean George Markey, of Dean of Students. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Let me also introduce the distinguished faculty members who are here with us today. They've taught us, guided, advised, and uh, brought all of us to the place we're at here today. We're truly blessed with a diverse, dedicated, and talented faculty, all of international reputation. Each, I have seen how deeply committed to teaching, research, and to learning. I ask the faculty to rise as a group that so we may recognize them and thank them as well. Thank you very much. So today we rejoice in the accomplishments of all our graduates. The faculty has approved the awarding of their degrees to each of them. Each of our graduates has completed the very demanding requirements of their respective curricula. But we offer special recognition to those who have demonstrated particular achievement. And I'll ask each of the groups to, to stand in turn. First, we have 80 students who are graduating with honors, as we say cum laude. May I ask the cum laude students to please stand for recognition.
And we have 75 students who are graduating with high honors, magna cum laude. May I ask that group to stand? Sixty-nine students, students who are graduating with the highest honors, summa cum laude, please stand. And finally, to accept, I think, truly the highest honors and our deepest appreciation from all of us, faculty and staff, students, have to be the two groups who really make it uh, possible for us to be together. In many cases, whose names are on the buildings and the halls that we're in, whose names are on the scholarships that many of us have received, whose names are on the professorships that we've got. And that is our donors and trustees and the parents who make the American University of Cairo in Cairo possible. Finally, it's, it's my very great honor and pleasure to speak on this uh, day of a big milestone in the lives of all of our students uh, to introduce our guest speaker. This is, a, I guess, a sort of distinction uh, for him, but it's really an honor for us to have one of uh, this gentleman's achievements in life and uh, inspiration to us all. So I'm, I'm very honored to introduce this year's undergraduate speaker, Mr. Ayman Al-Asfari, who's with us. You'll be able to read in your programs just a short summary of Mr. Asfari's lifetime of achievement and many professional and business awards through his establishment and his ongoing leadership of Petrofac International, which has 15,000 employees operating in 29 countries. So he, Mr. Asfari certainly exemplifies the pioneering and entrepreneurial spirit that we hope to nurture in our own graduates. But beyond this, I know that Mr. Asfari and his wife, Ms. Sausan, take their deepest satisfaction in his and her invaluable service to humanity in so many ways. Mr. Asfari serves as advisor to educational, governmental, and philanthropic entities from the American University of Beirut to the British Prime Minister and the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. Beyond this, the Asfari Foundation provides educational opportunities for young Middle Eastern scholars in the United Kingdom and promotes civil society in the Arab world. Responding to the devastating conflict in Syria, the foundation under Mr. Asfari's direction, and Mrs. Asfari, has increased its humanitarian aid efforts and spent tens of millions of dollars supporting refugee education and civil society initiatives. So AUC is proud to host a leader who has both risen to the top of his field in business and also selflessly uplifted those in need. I know our graduates and all of us will draw inspiration from Mr. Asfari's di distinguished career and his and Ms. Sausan's lifetime dedication to the service of others. Please join me in welcoming him to the podium. <laughs> 